everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to be creating a virtual machine inside of an ESXi host. This work is going to be completed via a remote desktop session into that infrastructure slash Jumpbox virtual machine that we created earlier. We can start by opening Firefox and we will establish a session into our ESXi one VM. And once we're in, we're going to create a new virtual machine. So to do that, we see that we have virtual machines. I'm going to right click on that and create register a virtual machine. We're going to create a new virtual machine as opposed to deploy. So we'll click next, give it a name, be CentOS 01. Compatibility is going to be ESXi 7 and later, which is what we want. The guest OS family is going to be Linux and the specific guest OS is going to be CentOS 7 64-bit. We'll click on next. This is going to be stored on data store one, which is the only data store that we have. Customizing the settings, uh, one CPU is fine. We're going to change this to one gigabyte of memory instead of two. We're going to make the disk a bit smaller at 12 gigabytes. Expand out the properties for the disk and change to thin provisioned. The SCSI controller is fine. We are going to have a network adapter going to expand this out and verify this is VMX Net 3, which is what we want it to be. And we also have to change the DVD so that it's going to point to the ISO uh, image of the CentOS distribution. So I'm going to change this to Data Store ISO. That will bring up our browser. I'll select ISOs. I'll select the ISO image that we uploaded. Select that. And then I'm also going to expand this out and make sure the connect that power on is selected. That's all good. So we'll say next. We can verify that everything is specified correctly and then finish. Just going to create our virtual machine. We can see that we have the number of virtual machines at one. If I click that, I can see my one virtual machine. And if I click that, it takes me to the virtual machine area. Now we're going to uh, need to power this on. We're also going to connect to the console, which we can't do before we power on. So I'm going to do that. Click on the console, open a browser console, and I'm going to uh, click inside this browser console and I'm going to arrow up to install CentOS and press enter. After that, this is a normal everyday CentOS installation, which you've done many times before. Not going to bother going through that. I will finish this up, the video paused, and then at the end, we'll come back and make sure that everything completed correctly. Okay, we are finished. Our Linux VM is rebooted. You can see it's come up to the login prompt on the console. I can close that down, and we can see that our virtual machine uh, information is now uh, specifying its name, uh, and we are basically finished with that part of the lab. So that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.